Hello and welcome to this short tutorial in which I show you how to add add actions to any object in the game to enable the player to pick up that object and then uh, link that to a trigger to make something happen within the mission. So this is my character here. He is a UAV operator. This is so we can get some uh, cool camera angles when we start uh, making things happen within the mission and we can see what's going on. He is independent and I've made him so that uh, he is friendly to both the US forces and the Russian forces that way we're not gonna get shot by anyone and we can just be a spectator so over here just for an example I've placed a object shed small shed and I've added the add action which enables us to pick it up uh, in which I've written variable name for the object is shed and uh, the add action is this add action in square brackets steel small shed um, this is what the add action is gonna say and you can change that to anything like pick up shed pick up whatever I'm gonna change it to smash small shed because we're gonna get rid of it and then I've also added uh, delete vehicle shed that means when we activate the add action the shed the variable um, the object with the variable name of shed will be deleted from the game so once again we're not hostile to blue 4 or red 4 and uh, we're drone operator will be using this drone and if we zoom out and look over here I've set up a small blue 4 installation military installation with some units scattered around let's take a look at that it's mostly infantry uh, a couple helicopters that are just sitting around and what we're gonna do is make this base be attacked by the Russian armed forces as you can see I've set them up over here it's mostly infantry a couple of helicopters as well they all simply have a move waypoint that takes them straight into the blue for base uh, effectively making them take it over and attack it now how this is gonna work is via a trigger basically when we pick up said object which is Putin's hard drive disk that will set off a trigger the trigger will activate all of these units AIs and I've given them all variable names starting with A through till something like G there's quite a lot of them and when I say given them all variable names it's only the squad leader that controls the squad so it's only the squad leader that really matters and so every squad leader has a variable name starting with A and in his initialization file it's written A disable AI move now if we go over here and take a look at the trigger and read what it says it says on activation hint Putin is pissed that's because we stole his hard drive and he is sending troops to attack us so on activation as well it's a enable AI move all the way through to every unit every squad leader and uh, vehicle driver slash helicopter pilot that we've given that to and basically that wakes up all of their AI and lets them uh, move out and follow their waypoints and so specifically with vehicles if you want to have vehicles do the same thing you can't just have it so their squad leader has their AI disabled because the vehicle driver will still um, move out and what will actually happen is uh, the squad will try and mount up into the vehicle if the squad leader is mounted up into the vehicle he'll tell the vehicle go to your waypoint and the vehicle driver will follow regardless um, so what you also need to do with vehicles in particular, this is with both helicopters and ground vehicles, is take the driver or pilot and also disable their AI in the same uh, same way that we did before. So it's, for example, H, H, disable AI move. And on this one, the URL, it's I, I, disable AI move. And you really want to make sure that you do that if you have a vehicle linked to it, the squad that you want to um, use this activation method for otherwise they will just mount up in the truck and the uh, truck will drive them and the same thing goes for air vehicles and helicopters so if we zoom into the helicopter select the pilot and uh, make sure that his AI is disabled in the same manner that we've been doing so H2 for helicopter 2 H2 disable AI move and do this for all of them
So after all of that is set up, we're gonna go back to where we're standing and look at the actual object that we want to set off the trigger with via add action, its variable name HDD. In its initialization file, we write this add action square bracket steal Putin's HDD and then delete vehicle HDD bracket close semicolon. Now we go back to our trigger and read what it says and um, basically so we want to link this trigger to the object being deleted. We do this by adding condition condition this semicolon uh, exclamation point alive HDD semicolon and what that does is um, scan if the uh, object or person whatever it is the variable name is is well alive uh, so if it's deleted or not if it's alive or not that's what it's gonna look for so once that's done we've already gone over the on activation we know what it activates all of those units and it tells us the hint Putin is pissed so while well, that's everything done so we're gonna do now is run the simulation and see how it plays so here we are in the mission let's take a look around here is the first example that I'm going to show you. It's the Smash Shed. And we're going to uh, mouse wheel Smash Shed. And that deletes the shed. The same way that it's going to do with uh, the HDD. This doesn't do anything with the shed, of course, because we didn't link it to any trigger. But uh, it's the same concept. And this is just to show you that you can take any object and give it an add action. What I'm going to do now is take control of this uh, little drone and fly it over to the part of the map that I left the Russians on. So we have a nice camera action and we can see what happens when I activate the trigger. Well, activating the trigger by activating the add action f first. So uh, I'll see you when we get there. I'm going to skip ahead. Okay, so now we're here at the Russian forces. They're all standing in their nice V formations. And I'm just going to get the drone into a nice position so we've got a good camera angle that we can switch to. Everything seems to be working because none of them are moving, none of them have left. They're all waiting for their AI to be enabled or their squad leader's AI to be enabled as well as the vehicle's driver AI. So this is a good camera angle. We can see all of the units. We can see the helicopters in the background. So we're going to leave the drone hovering here and go back to our dude. So from here we can take a look at the American base. Nothing is happening. That's how it should be. It's all very quiet and peaceful. Well, I hope they're enjoying it because it's not going to be for very long. We're going to go and uh, look at the... Um, look at the computer. Computer case is the object that I'm using. And now let's activate it, get things moving by mouse wheeling Steel Putin's HDD. And as you saw, as soon as I did that, the hint activated it says Putin is pissed, which is really bad because now the Russians will start attacking. And I reset my camera angle, but if we find the Russians, let's see where are they. And we see they are all moving and uh, following their waypoints now which is exactly what we wanted, is exactly as the mission should be doing. And that's actually kind of epic looking, all the helicopters taking off, everyone's moving out and uh, going in to attack the American base. So let's switch back to our character and see what's happening at the American base and see if we spot those helicopters coming in. And as you can see, it's not so quiet here anymore. The battle has started and chaos is ensuing. And that's all because we stole Putin's hard drive disk. Sorry guys. Well, the helicopters didn't last long against those American 50 cals, but um, the battle will go on, and uh, let's switch over to the drone and see how far the troops are getting. 
they're all still marching towards the battlefield and if we switch to thermals we can actually get a really cool view and it really highlights how many uh, these guys there are but basically guys that's the tutorial uh, leave a like in the comments hopefully you found it useful hopefully you can use add action um, to pick up or, s or delete item add that to a trigger the trigger can do anything you want this was just an example that I used and uh, to create a battle so I guess I'll see you in the next video guys take care